Over the years, our family's had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended D&H. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs. All without the lines. Trust and service. That's our D&H. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. This is Thursday, November the 29th. Can you believe we're going into December before you know it? And this weekend, is a very big weekend for the two ladies that I have sitting on each side of me. Let's start first of all with Jennifer Flink, Boone County Museum. Good to have you here. Jennifer Thank you, Flink. Paul. It's always good to be here. Very, with very you. busy weekend, right? Very busy weekend. This weekend we are Fortunately, one of the featured homes in the Women's Symphony League holiday home tour, and we're mm -hmm. so delighted. And I have I have Joyce Hewlett to over give on the, the details. Left side. So. Right, she's going to tell us all about <laughs> that too. Absolutely, and so we are so delighted to be able to open up Maplewood after some renovation work that we have done, and the city's been hard at work on the exterior, and it's looking absolutely gorgeous. So we're delighted to welcome the community to Maplewood House, among the other homes, and then. Next week, we will, in partnership with Maplewood Barn Theater, be doing Maplewood by Candlelight Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings. So that is what, the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. Okay, Maplewood by Candlelight. Yes, and the Lenore and Nifong families will come alive in the historic Maplewood house, and so people can come and visit the family as if it were Christmas and we were celebrating the holidays and the Maplewood Barn Theater players reenact the family members and it so, is so a these are actors, wonderful time. These are actors and actresses yes, from it, the Maplewood Barn. It is delightful. It will be by candlelight. It will be 1900 pre-electric. So people will have an opportunity just to enjoy. So yeah. how do they know how the family would act? They have researched and I have researched um, the family members and created all kinds of characters from the community and drawn what we can from historical files and diaries and created the personalities and populate the the home oh, so it's a great nice. opportunity so it's maplewood by candlelight the fifth sixth, sixth seventh, seventh and eighth and eighth okay and the, but first on December 1st and 2nd, we but will have more? on December 1st and 2nd, we'll have the preview with the Women's Symphony League. Okay, let me turn now to Joyce and I'll come back okay, to you. Okay, great. Okay, so don't go away. <laughs> I won't. Joyce Hewlett, the Holiday yes. Homes Tour with the Missouri yes. Symphony League. Tell me about that. Well, uh, we are going to be there at 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, December 1st until 4. So how many different uh, homes do you we have? We have four homes. Maplewood, of course, is one. The Stevens College President's Home is another. The Giroux Home on Bluff Creek and the Cone Home on Russell Boulevard. So we have great homes as usual, but two very historic homes. So we're excited this year. Yeah. Tickets are $15. Uh, at the door, they're 20, and some of the outlets are D&H and the Hy-Vee grocery stores, so okay. you can pick them up there. So how much money are you hoping you'll raise? Well, you know, the sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully a lot, a lot but money. at least four or $5,000, so I hope everybody will come yeah. out and support us. We're an arm of the MOSS, the uh, Missouri Symphony Society, and we uh, give our money to that, and and we enjoy doing this for the community. And this is our 29th year. Yeah. Can you yeah. believe that? Yeah. Well, for so many years, we featured you on, on Pepper and Friends all the time, That's too. That's right. But That's now, how do you decide? And it's got to be we tough. We have a it? committee. That yeah, I was saying, you know what the question is? We have a committee. <laughs> how yes. do you decide which homes are going to well, be on the tour? Well, and sometimes it's hard to decide which ones. But we have people that say, oh, I know a home that you might want to look at. And we did have Maplewood, but it's been like 20 years ago. So mm -hmm. Maplewood has changed and gotten better. And we certainly, you know, there are people coming that weren't born 20 years ago. Right. So we're right. happy to do it again. But it is a great community event. So the, the, the committee decides, and then you have to approach the yes, homeowners, right? Yes, we have right? to ask. Do you ever go to, have you ever gone to a homeowner? You don't have to tell me this if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever gone to a homeowner and said, we want to we have your house on the Hall of the Homes tour? And they say, 
well, I don't think I want to do that. Sometimes they say, well, let me think about it for next year. I want to do a little something different to my house. But I have not been on the committee. I just hear this from other people that, you know, that's what's said. So then we put that down for next year and go yeah. back to them. Or sometimes they say, well, you know, I'm not really interested in doing that. But most of the time they say, oh, that would be great. Now, are the, are the owners there when the people they come can in? be if they want to be. Sometimes they are, and sometimes they decide to go away for a couple of days. <laughs> I don't know if but, I want to see people crawling through the house. That would but, that that might be. Yeah, but the thing is, everybody wears little booties. They do. They, come in. they wear booties yeah. donated by Boone County Hospital, and we recycle those. We've learned we can wash those, and they come yeah. out really nice. Well, that sounds just wonderful, Joy. So it'll be this. Saturday yes. and Sunday, right? Ten, 10 to 4 on Saturday, 12 to 4 on Sunday. Okay. And all the homes and our bake sale and boutique are at uh, Senior Hall on Stevens College campus, right down there with all the other uh, holiday bazaars. Okay. So enjoy right. that also. You got it. That's for, free. You don't have to have a ticket for that. <laughs> okay. You can get tickets to DNH and at Hy-Vee. Hy-Vee, and there are other places too. Okay. Yes. All right, Joyce. Now, you stay where you are because I'm going to go back over here to Jennifer. Now, you listen, <laughs> you listen to all of that. Oh, yes. Anything else you want to add? No, we're just so delighted to be able to partner with um, the Women's Symphony League, and we're so pleased that they asked us to, to be a home this year, to open up Maplewood this you year. You didn't have to think about it, did you? No, I didn't, and it was such good timing because we've done a lot of work on the house, and it's really looking good. So we're really welcoming the chance to open it up. And then we will then the following week partner with, which is – it's so hard to think that it's just next week. We will then again be partnering with Maplewood Barn Theater and bringing the Lenore, the historic Lenore and Nifong families to life. And people can come visit them for Christmas and see what Christmas was like in the 1900s. Okay. So if, if, uh, if folks want any information on right. this, where can they, they go? They can call uh, the museum, Boone County Museum, at 443-8936. They can go to our website. They can purchase tickets on the... Uh, Maplewood Barn Theater website as well. Tickets are just $5 a person. Mm -hmm. So we just welcome everybody to come and enjoy, experience a little bit of Christmas past mm -hmm. with us. Now, will the uh, will the museum be open through all of the holidays? It will be. Um, we, we will be closed for two weeks beginning Christmas Eve day, that Monday, and closed through um, the week following um, the, that first week of January after. That's, that's so you can kind of recoup after everything that you have been doing during <laughs> the holidays. We usually do. You're right. We do usually put in quite a few weekends. And yeah. so at the time, and so we're, we're very glad. The staff is very glad. Uh, I do a lot of work at home on the computer. You know, thank yeah. we. Yeah. Grateful for wireless. Well, so. I'll tell you what, we're 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 glad to uh, to have you on Radio Friends. Thank we you wish so much. you continued success with thank this weekend. You. Joyce, thank you so much for coming you. by. Thanks and for letting uh, us. Best of everything with the holiday. And Merry story. Christmas to you. Yes, yes. Merry Christmas Merry to Christmas. you too. And I hope you both had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We, we did. did. All right. Plenty. Tomorrow, the Calvary Episcopal Church Bazaar. That's one of those bazaars we were talking about. That's right. And uh, we'll tell you about a holiday concert coming up. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director is J.C. Lee. And our assistant producer, guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Bye-bye.